Hello everybody. Today we're going to be pickling eggs. I'm going to be using three different recipes and showing you just how easy it is to preserve eggs. Pickled eggs are a great use of eggs that you've had in your refrigerator for a while. Pickled eggs can be stored in your refrigerator for up to three to four months with no extra canning or preserving required other than what I'm going to show you today. So let's get started. Hope I don't fuck this up. were widely used and consumed by Germans in the 1700s. A large portion of my ancestry happens to be German and so I have grown up on pickled eggs. I know a lot of people might think of pickled eggs and think ew gross. They don't actually have to taste like dill pickle. They can come in all sorts of different flavors. Today I'm going to be making jalapeno pickled eggs, uh, beet pickled eggs, and curried pickle eggs with a substitute in case you don't have curry powder on hand, like I did. Pickled eggs uh, come from a variety of different cultures. Some say they first showed up in England in pubs to be served as bar food, specifically at a pub called the Pickled Egg on Pickled Egg Lane in England. According to some of my reading, the philosophy for the pickled eggs in the very beginning was to throw the eggs in a bunch of vinegar and just let them sit indefinitely. Today's recipes are going to be a little bit more refined than that. The best eggs to use for pickled eggs are going to be eggs that have been in your refrigerator, in your refrigerator for a while. And if you want to know why, refer back to my stop boiling your eggs video where I talk about what makes the best boiled eggs and why. There are a lot of different uses for uh, pickled eggs in addition to just eating them as a snack. They can be used in egg salad. They can be used to zhuzh up a deviled egg. They can be used as a garnish and they also can be used as a beautiful accompaniment to a salad. Anywhere hard boiled eggs are called for, you can use pickled eggs to add a little pizzazz and sometimes color to your dish. One of the first documented references to pickled eggs in America, where I live, appeared in a publication called The Kentucky Housewife in 1839. There are a bunch of links uh, on information on uh, the history of pickled eggs and things like that in the description below if you're interested in further reading on pickled eggs. So I'm gonna get started with the three recipes Let's take a look at the ingredients. As you see, I've lined up all the ingredients really nice and neat so we can just go boom, 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 one by one. What you'll need for this project is a medium saucepan. If you're only making one kind, one quart jar, and then the following ingredients for the various different types of pickled eggs. For the first one, we have one beet, which I'm going to actually turn into some beet juice just momentarily. Three cardamom pods, one star anise, and I have substituted today the sugar with an erythritol monk fruit blend. There'll be a link in the description to explain to you what that is. In addition to that, there is 75 milliliters of apple cider vinegar and 175 milliliters of white wine vinegar. I actually ran out <laughs> of almost all my vinegar doing this project. I didn't have enough apple cider vinegar. You can actually substitute any vinegar of your liking for any of these, including uh, red wine vinegar if you wanted your eggs to be, uh, take up, pick up that kind of color, apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, regular white vinegar. I chose white vinegar because that was the second kind of vinegar I had the most of. So just keep in mind when you pickle eggs, as long as you're using vinegar, 
you can really kind of tailor them to whatever you have around, which is one of the nice things about pickled eggs. For the curried pickled eggs, I have three cardamom pods, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and I am substituting the one tablespoon of curry powder with one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of coriander. I have three quarters of a cup of water, one cup of a mixture of apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. And then moving on to the jalapeno pickled eggs. I have two jalapenos, which I'm going to slice in half and remove the seeds from before I add it to the mix. I have one teaspoon of cumin seeds, one bay leaf, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. I'm also gonna be adding one clove of garlic. I have three quarters of a cup of water, three quarters of a cup of a mixture of apple cider vinegar and white vinegar. And then for each of these recipes, it calls for a quarter of a sliced onion. So I'm gonna be slicing these up nice and thin to pack in the jar with the eggs. In addition to all of these ingredients, for each recipe, you're going to want six hard boiled simmered eggs, peeled and chilled to pack into the quart jars before you add the liquid. First things first, I'm gonna slice the white onions and I'm starting with the lightest color to the darkest color of ingredients because once I cut up the beets, my cutting board will be stained. Now set those aside. You'll want at least one glove to work with the jalapeno so that you can prevent the volatile oils from the inside of the jalapeno from getting on your fingers because if you get it on your fingers, you will not be able to get it off with a simple washing and you will not be able to touch your eye for the rest of the day or any other mucous membrane without uh, some very severe pain and or discomfort. You could cut these up into smaller pieces. This recipe just calls for seeding and debating them. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these lengthwise like so. Set these aside. To work with beets, you may also want to wear a glove just to make sure that you're not gonna stain your hands with, um, with the beets. And also don't wear anything white or you'll end up with uh, stains all over your clothes. I'm just gonna go ahead and deal with the stains. So first things first, peel the beet. Once you've peeled the beet, cut it into one to two inch squares and boil it in one cup of water. Once complete, drain the liquid and use the beet juice in your pickling recipe. Make sure not to let those beets go to waste. You can add some butter and some salt and just eat them as is. And then finally, one clove of garlic. You don't need to mince this too fine. Just sort of turn it into chunks and Obviously, if you wanted more garlic, you could have more garlic. If you're using whole cardamom pods, make sure that you crack them open so you can expose the area that has the seeds so that it can actually do the job of flavoring your brine. The anise seed star has the seeds exposed, so you don't need to do anything to those. Alternatively, with the garlic, you could keep it whole. So the first thing that you wanna do is prepare your quart jars by putting six peeled hard boiled eggs in them. And then we just start by adding the ingredients. The first one I'm gonna do is the jalapeno. So you add the vinegar, the water, the herbs and the garlic, the jalapeno, and then the quarter onion. Bring this to a boil and let it cook for up to five minutes until the onions begin to appear translucent. It's been about five minutes and it's starting to boil. Make sure to wipe down the sides so the spices or herbs that you're using don't stick 
and cook to the edges because you want those to go into the liquid. Mm, smells really good. I'll give that a couple more minutes and then I'll take it off the heat and set it aside and let it cool just slightly while I work on the next mixture. Rinse the pot if you're gonna do another batch so that you get all the flavors out. Okay, just like the first batch. Put in vinegar, put in your water, and then this is gonna be the curry egg. Give it a little mix. Alternatively, you could skip the turmeric in this. I added the turmeric because I didn't have curry and I still wanted the egg to have a chance to get that curry color. And then add the onion. And just like before, let this come to a boil and cook until the onions become slightly translucent. Okay, it's come to a boil. I'm just gonna let that again boil for about five minutes. That should be almost done. Take it off the heat and cool it slightly. The one cup of the beet juice, the herbs, and the onions, and then cook until the onions are translucent. About five minutes. Again. Once it comes to a boil, cook until the onions become translucent. Take that off the heat. Set it aside just to cool slightly. And at this point, you could also put some of the boiled beets, if you have any left, and put them in the mixture, and they'll add more color to the egg, but then also you'll have pickled beets and pickled beets are also very delicious and nutritious. One thing to note if you're using turmeric or curry, be very careful. Uh, if you get it on your countertops, it is likely to stain, or if you get it on your clothes. So take six eggs packed in a clean quart jar. I'm using this funnel that I use for canning, uh, but you can use any sort of funnel that you might have in the kitchen or no funnel at all. And then just cover Oof. make sure you get all the herbs down in there. And then for the final one again. Be careful not to spill it all over your counter like I have. Leave your eggs on the counter until the liquid in them comes to room temperature. You've heard me say it before and I will continue to repeat. Never put warm or hot food into the refrigerator. It will raise the temperature of the refrigerator and put everything in your refrigerator in, your refrigerator in danger of getting spoiled prematurely. So leave your jars on the counter until they come to room temperature, then seal them up and place them in the back of your refrigerator. They can start being eaten at about two weeks. The recipe that I used said that you should eat them within a month, but according to all of my research, they are good in the back of your refrigerator for up to three to four months if you'd like. They are so delicious though, I don't think that they'll last that long. One of the most difficult things about pickled eggs is having to wait two weeks to eat them. I'll come back in two weeks and I'll show you the vibrant colors of my pickled eggs and we'll give them a taste test. All right, it has been more than two weeks. It has been about a month. I got busy with a lot of things and one of those things is a kitchen renovation, which I'm very excited to show you guys, but you're gonna have to come back in about two weeks to see that. I'm waiting on a new appliance and that is holding up the show. So I am doing this last bit in my dining room. Uh, we're gonna taste test those three pickled eggs that I made, I think it's well over a month ago now. Full disclosure, I did try one of the curry ones already because I just couldn't wait. But the other two flavored ones, the pickled beets and the jalapeno ones, I did wait until today. So let's take a look at what they look like. They're pretty beautiful. This is the jalapeno one. I am a little concerned about the dark that it got. I'm gonna have to look up and make sure that that is normal. This is not the darkest one that was in the jar. And of course we have the beet pickled one, so pretty. And the curry pickled one. And I think, I think when it comes to the curry one, because I made 
my own sort of variation because I was out of curry powder. It definitely tastes like I put too much turmeric in it. When I ate it a little over a week ago, it wasn't, the color hadn't penetrated it as much as I would have liked. So I'm hoping after another week, it, it, it will look like I hope, I, I was hoping it would look. Let's cut into these eggs and see, especially how deep the purple went on the beet pickled egg. First, we're gonna start with this egg and I'm gonna cut them all in half first and see what they look like. One thing you'll notice with the pickled egg is that the texture of the exterior definitely changes once it's been pickled. So that didn't really penetrate too far. The curry. Yeah, it, that also didn't penetrate very far. Let's check out the beet. Now that beet pickled egg, oh, look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. Now you could turn them upside down on the top of a salad and serve them. You could wedge them and put them on a salad. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I'm so in love with that one. All right, let's give them a taste. Since I just tried the curry one already, I'm just gonna hold off on that. So let's try the jalapeno, well, let's try the beet one because the jalapeno is gonna be pretty spicy. Mm. I did follow a recipe from the internet for this. And I have, and I really have to stop doing that. It's got a clovey taste, but it's still really good. Mm. It doesn't really taste, mm. it doesn't really taste like the pickled eggs that I've had before. But I think there, there was a bit more spices in it than um, the pickled eggs that I'm used to. Let's go with the jalapeno. Mmm, that one's very subtle. If you like really spicy, spicy things, this is not gonna be your thing. You could probably add more jalapenos, maybe even the seeds. If you threw the seeds in there, you definitely pick up um, more spice because in a jalapeno, the seeds are actually where all the hot, hotness is. Mmm! I'm gonna... And then, this one, the curry one, the faux curry one. Next time I'll use a real curry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's definitely too much turmeric at the back end of that, but I'm definitely, mm. I'm definitely gonna eat a lot of them. You could chop them up, put them with mayo, put them in a sandwich. Um, if you're low carb like I am, put them in um, a long celery stick, any number of things that you could do with these. But can you imagine how beautiful those colors would be on a salad? Well, that's it, I think, for now for my egg videos. Yes, this was the last egg video. Next week, I have some exciting news that I'm gonna share with you guys. And then the week after that, I have an exciting kitchen renovation to show you guys. And those two are kind of both related. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you get a notification just in case you don't see me. Drop the video on any number of the social media sites that I'm on. I try only to do that once and then just let it be because I don't wanna spam everybody with my content on different platforms. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Please leave